Hi boys and girls, welcome back for another week at Sunday School. I hope you've had a good week at school and are ready to learn another new story today. First of all, we're going to sing a song. It's one that you recognise, so here goes. <laughs> Boys and girls, in our Sunday School talk today, we're reading from Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 to 34, and we're talking about worry. Now, I know that earlier in the year we talked about worry and what worry was and how that we know we shouldn't worry because God is always with us. But because today's story mentions worry again, we're going to have a little think about it. Sometimes we wonder, what does worry actually mean? Well, I was having a little think about it, and I suppose worry sometimes makes us sad. When we worry, we could be scared. And sometimes when we worry, we're actually thinking a lot more about something than we need to be. There are lots of things that people worry about. Maybe some of you worry about being liked by your friends. Maybe you worry about who you will play with outside at lunchtime at school. Maybe you worry if you'll get a place on a football team or a hockey team. There are lots of things that boys and girls worry about. I'd like you to take 30 seconds now to think about something that worried or scared you this week and tell someone beside you about it. Whatever your worry is today, or has been this past week, Jesus tells us not to worry, that he's taking care of us. He used examples in today's Bible story about creation. He said God gives food to the birds. They don't have to plant it themselves and harvest it, that God gives them their food when they need it. He says we don't need to worry about clothes. Look at how the beautiful flowers are. Jesus tells us that King Solomon didn't even have clothes as beautiful as the flowers. If God cares for things like the birds and the flowers, isn't he going to take care of you? Worries can weigh us down and keep us from being the person God wants us to be. You can see the picture of the school bag here that we can put all our worries in. If we were to take the bag today and put in all the worries, so some of the worries that we might have could be that we are... Maybe worried about going to school tomorrow because we have something to do. Maybe we are worried about someone who's not well. Maybe we're worried about what we're going to do for a birthday or for Christmas. Or maybe we're worried about how we're going to get something that we would really like. Or maybe we're just worried because we haven't seen some of our friends or family for a little while. If we were to take all these worries and put them into the bag, the bag would become very, very heavy. And as you can see in the little picture, it would start to weigh you down. Now, God has promised that he is here to help us. And lots of these worries that would weigh you down, like the boy in the picture, make you feel a little bit upset or maybe find it hard to keep going with things. Although these worries aren't heavy books or heavy things in the bag, they still feel like they're weighing us down. When we're worrying... We're not letting God take care of things in our lives. We should be letting God help us. And by doing things that God wants us to do, he will keep the worries at bay and he will look after us. Our memory verse today, boys and girls, is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks. Now, we're going to say it together, so let's have a go. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks. 
We'll say it one more time. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks. Boys and girls, that is a little verse that we should be able to remember. And when we're worried about something, we should remember that God will be with us and that we can talk to God in our prayers. We thank him for all the things that he has done for us and we ask him to help us when we're in need. As we come to the end of Sunday school today, boys and girls, I want you to think of the little story about the backpack and how when things get overwhelming, we get weighed down, but how that God is here to help us and that we can talk to God in our prayers and that we're never on our own. We can trust him and we remember that he keeps his promises. As we finish our time at Sunday school today, let us talk to God in prayer. Dear Jesus, we give our worries to you. We thank you that you are always there for us and that you promise to take care of us and we trust you. We have a lot to worry about sometimes, but we know you can handle it. You died to take care of our sins. You took care of our big problem of sin in the world and we know that you'll take care of our other problems too. Help us to give our worries over to you and not to try to take them back. You can handle anything. We're so glad that we have a God that takes such good care of us. No one is like you and we have nothing to worry about when our life is in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And we'll all join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I hope that you all have a good week at school. Remember to stay safe, keep praying, keep washing your hands, and remember that God is always with us. Bye.